All right, my friends, happy Halloween pre-eve or something, whatever we're calling it. This is the day, the uh, Friday of Halloween weekend, which I'm sure many of you are heading out into the world to whoop it up, uh, gorge yourselves on candy and costumes and fun and maybe a corn maze or a haunted house type thing. Um... Uh, Pumpkin patch? Well, what's everybody got going? Um, uh, I, uh, celebrated a bit today, uh, watching a few movies. That's right, we did have a few resources here. I was thinking we were headed right to the nether, but I think we had set ourselves up to do another course of roofing for that. Okay, let's uh, let's just calm down. Start carefully here. So we had these are the blocks, and I think oh that was that was a mistake. Um. Should I just trash a stone? Let's kick it. Oh, see, now we don't even have the... Do this. But the important thing was we did... Uh, oh, are you serious, you little silly stone? The important thing is we confirm that we still have... The right coursing here and we'll just build up again uh, yeah let's just get these laid uh, so I was thinking a little bit and I, I really do think when when we've been looking taller I thought maybe we would do three courses of these step tiers, but I, I think it's going to be at least four. And more... will be determined on, on how close we get to that edge. See this one. Gets this bit here. Wait, am I? <laughs> what did I do? This is just easy now? Is that it? Oh, what? Okay, what? How am I so off? I, that's why you don't build when you're not planning to do it. Is that a half step? So there should always be a... We're going to have to jump anyway, or at least go back inside. So this was the half step, that was the back up. This 
this was a bad way to start an episode, guys. I apologize. I <laughs> had really forgotten that we were uh, we're even coming back to build, but um, I have totally lost the track of how we were setting those outside edges, and that's a bit of a problem when you're trying to do more of them. We'll get it. Don't you worry. Go we'll get our p three pieces of stone, too. Every stone is sacred to us. It's special. It's got its own unique value, and we don't want it to go to waste. And now I need to go out here and take a look. Oh, okay, so it's easy. I was just overcomplicating it on the on the edges now. It's just stairs flipped back and forth. <laughs> I don't know. I guess because we had previously done the the block in between, I was looking for, for more of a step, making it way more complex than it needed to be. All right, well, that, that will speed us along. And it's the inverted block that takes the place of all the uh, full blocks. The inverted stair piece. Wow, can we, uh, can we just go up? Let's have a snack now that we're doing that. Okay, so we've got step there. Step there. Step here, and then all of these. No, 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 no. Now I'm confused again. Blocks all the way through that I was just wasn't seeing. Took me long enough. Woo! If you ever needed proof that I don't watch video, my own videos, um, there you go. Then, fill in these, and it's here that we go. All right. Woo! Painful, painful, painful. If you think this is bad, wait till we've run out of materials and have to go to the nether for an episode to get everything back. But hopefully we can... still come through on that plan... Uh, in this episode. I, I don't know that we'll get our full gathering done or anything, by any means, but we will I don't think that was right. Nope. Yep. Alright. Now we seem to be way off over here, right? That's a danger. So 
this goes up. Yeah, so uh, back to what I had kind of started talking about at the beginning here. Um, what's everybody got for Halloween plans? Everybody got some exciting activities in the pl works, ready to go? I, uh... Those go... I don't want to get... <laughs> Guess what's going to happen now? Here. 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 Right? This is the lower layer. Being a witch or misplacing blocks as I am. I don't know what we're speaking about it at all, but uh, did I pick up the extras over on that other side? Because we don't want these to get forgotten, go to waste, require long, painful jumps off our. Rooftop here. Boop. Looks good. Not a corner piece or anything. Yeah. Every piece of stone is special and sacred right up until the point when it lands on the things that I'd have to awkwardly jump down and then not be able to get back up again. Okay, so now we are back to even and uh, not a lot more there for us to do. We can hope to finish out these stairs. Just a single one left. May as well place it. There we go. Now well, let's go back over and double check what I never bothered to look at. Well, okay, I think we cleaned up everything on that roof line. We have just under a stack of quartz left, and Acacia is getting a bit. Then as well, we can certainly do this, and that's more or less done down at this end. So I think we'll go... I don't know if immediately transferring to the, probably we should go look at the proportions here too. So that'll be our step up on this side once we get more pieces to make stairs. And it'll come all the way across. I guess let's, I don't, oh, I don't think we're going to uh, finish anything up here, but let's get a few more uh, few more stair pieces and do that far end so that we can kind of get a feel for what it looks like, because proportions are going to be a little bit important here. As we wrap things up. Again, I don't think that quite covers our full length here, but it'll be a good uh,
better effort. One more sleep. Oh, we're not sleeping yet. Oh, come on. Go down, son. We could have finished. Now we'll do these, go take a look, and then uh, stow away all this other stuff and get our rear ends down over to the other. And I can probably count this out down at the base too. just to make sure that we're not uh, shortchanging ourselves. Okay, well that's, that's what we have left on this layer. Uh, block of stone. And, ooh, let's not, let's not land on the, uh, on the fence. That would be horribly painful. It's looking good. We'll go look first, and then we'll do our counting. And kind of try to explain what I'm talking about. So, for our steep roof here, we want to transition that. And right now we've got... Um, I think we're going to count this outside piece into it for proportions. If it works, if it doesn't, we'll, we'll adjust otherwise. But we basically got four on either side, and those go in three from the corner of the wall. So that is one, two, three. Oh, eggs. So here. Need torches now. Torch. And torch. And then we have one, two, three, four. Torch. One, two, three, four. Torch. And one, two, three, four in the middle. So a dozen blocks between means I. We came in on each of these one. Now we've got one, two, three, four. I think now we're at fives on either side. We may be good there. Because our our distance there now well, let's let's check this. Two, three.
Yeah, I, I think I like... I think we're actually going to switch for our next course. So no more of our uh, steeper angles. We'll just be going flat stairs. So on these eaves, we'll... Um, reverse the steps and then just uh, steps on top. So no more full quartz blocks being used, just stairs. Um, and I know they're a little pricey in terms of the, the materials cost, but that's the, the barn angle roof that we need. And right now there's as much each side of the acacia wood barn wall um, between the roof line and the uh, what should we call it the decorative white door thing looking deal uh, those are equally spaced so uh, or equal each side is the same as half of the white so I like that that balance and we should get a good uh, shape above that box uh, with the red as well so that's what we'll work towards but as you can imagine that means we need to make a lot of stairs and we'll need to go nethering for that and I I kind of feel we might have uh, might have pretty well used up the area that we were in uh, for the last episode in the nether so I think we're gonna go down to that uh, soul sand uh, wall that we'd reached and try to use it up now. Purple back. These, I think we'd gotten everything all cleaned up. Uh, we don't need quality there or anything. How are our two boxes here? We'll try to top those off as much as we can downstairs. There was no cobble here, right? And I, I don't know if we ended up with extra or not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the extra time to gather more cobble on this run. At least we'll use what's in the box. Um, but if we've got some extras and can top these things off, great. Yeah, nothing there. Um, but we should have stone. So. Cobble is close. Stone. We'll just take all of this. The two extra bits. And pop these two into the inner chest. All right. See that that had popped in. Okay, real quick time check just to make sure we know what we're getting in for. A little rehydration, and we're off. Hopefully these will still be relatively... <laughs> so much for that idea. Get off. Nice. Get, oh, get off. Without me jumping off. Again, here if we can knock these down into small ones and they don't despawn... Uh, those actually help us a little bit in keeping bigger ones that can get over that edge from spawning themselves. So, 
No luck here, though. That's what we call the hot corner. So yeah, we'd, we'd gone up in here. I th yeah. We could go back and run around quite a bit and probably find some or find another little pocket, but we kind of reached the boundary of the Crimson Forest and um, the Basalt Delta on the far side. So I don't... Well, we can just go, you know, get quartz here and there for them. I'd rather have fresh terrain, a little bit more exploring, see what else is out here, and um, get a bit of a sense of what we've got to work with here. Thank you for not being fur. <laughs> Magma blocks leading immediately into uh I didn't need to be carrying that. And unless we're out over lava. Don't really need to have those on our toolbar. The netherrack will inevitably choke ourselves with is uh, more than sufficient for swapping out these magma sections. Ooh, look at that, little quartz. So we're already getting more materials. A little gold. Take the time to grab that while we haven't punched through anything just to avoid any piglin unpleasantness. And I think I'm in the middle, right? Yeah, because we've never done this set. Let's balance that out. favorite parts burning our feet all right got all that So kind of rein reinvested in uh, in some spooky, scary type movies in the last. Uh, well, last night, I, as I think I mentioned, I ended up meeting up with some friends. Went out and uh, watched hockey game, which had a good outcome. We uh, had some pizzas. It was great. Nachos and pizza, actually. And just cool hanging out there. Were half dozen of us or so, and place I hadn't been to uh, since early to mid-summer, I guess, um, but fun kind of like neighborhood place in a, a neighborhood I don't live as close to anymore, which is a little bit of a shame for me, but because it, it's fun and they, you know, they know some of the folks well by, by name. Uh, me, they kind of recognize. <laughs> it's like, hey, how you doing? I remember you. Um, and this is a brewery, uh, you know, like everywhere else these days. Um, but one that had opened up in what had once upon a time been the local Blockbuster store. Um. So kind of fun. To, it sat vacant for, I don't know, a decade um, with nobody using the space. And finally this guy came in and was like, hey, I'm going to you know, put a brewery in there. And it took a long time for him to get going. Um, Re-outfitting the, the space. You know, you got to get permits and all that to 
can make beer like any kind of food product. And uh, just having once been a movie rental shop didn't really have it uh, set up with all the required. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, it, it had taken the guy like a few years from it arriving soon kind of stage to open and ready for business. And of course, after like a year and a half, two years maybe, I don't know, time time flies, the pandemic hit and, and so many people, uh, you know, had their businesses suddenly at risk because people couldn't come in. Well, um this guy who who's nice and you know, I've chatted with a few times again. I don't think he would know me personally just because I'm, I'm not that regular. Um, but would probably be like, hey, I, I remember you coming in. You know, he's that kind of nice personality and business owner. So he's, you know, trying to make connections and all that. Well, he, uh, he, he was one that kind of embraced the pandemic. And, you know, instead of sitting around going, oh, woe is me, and when are when are the restrictions going to get lifted? He was like, I'm going to go talk to the owner of this <laughs> um, uh, strip mall, I guess. It's not really a strip mall, per se, but it... Uh, you know, it's got all the... It had an old grocery store that's now turned into a fitness center kind of deal and uh, like a subway and, you know, a few just little uh, one-by-one -one shops and then a bunch of um, just here and there, you know, outbuilding kind of stuff. There's a gas station and a McDonald's in the parking lots and all that. And Because it was an old grocery store, a uh, huge parking area, and this old blockbuster had been on the opposite kind of end of the, if you want to call it a strip mall, um, development, and it had a little side parking lot, and so, you know, as soon as all this hit, I think even before, um, he had uh, set up picnic tables, kind of taken over one one part of the the area, and... Uh, made it kind of more outdoor seating and stuff. And uh, over the years, it just kind of improved and improved and improved. But when the the pandemic hit, uh, he apparently, you know, got permission or whatever, but basically just blocked off that that whole area and put up, like, split rail fence around it. And uh, at the time, took over the, uh, the boulevard as well. So all the way up to a sidewalk on a fairly busy road and just spread out picnic tables super wide apart when when people were first really hesitant to go out and be you know be around anyone else and so as soon as it was possible he was open for business and welcoming people in and, and while it's a brewery it's you know it's kind of taken off for good pizza you know it's not not the best pizza you've ever had in the whole world kind of stuff but um they're those medium-ish pizzas that are fine for two adults to split one, right? Or, you know, you can get one and, and take a half of it home for an next meal or however you want, you know, want to do it. Uh, but they have some variety and all that and, and good enough beer and all that. But they made it a real kind of family-friendly type place. Uh, lots of TVs and stuff on the inside now. That is why we enjoy it. Uh, but that had largely been ignored <laughs> of late because nobody could go inside and they uh, they had I think at one point taken over the the next uh, space in the, the strip mall too it had been an old shop or whatever and the business was out of it so they said hey can we expand and it's you know, it's just a pure auxiliary seating area, but the walls are lined with TVs. So there's no, no like bar or anything in there, but I, they do a lot of like birthday parties and stuff. Cause these, you know, they've probably got 
I want to say, 12 TVs just edge to edge on each side of what's, you know, like, think of, uh, like, a Great Clips or something like that, right? Uh, a business that doesn't have a real wide front, just doors and front windows, right? And then it just runs back the length of a building. So he took over one of those. And so, there, you know, there's only room for two rows of tables and a walkway in the middle. But then it's just jammed end to end to end to end to end with TVs. And when they first set it up, he's like, oh, yeah, th- no, this is kind of set up for um, kids and, and, and families. We've got a bunch of... I don't know. I, I've never Nintendos or Segos or something like that. Uh, Playstations and whatnot. I, I don't think they're trying to be. Excuse me, the latest and greatest or anything. Um, but they, ha- you know, they have controllers, and if they're not super busy and can set it up or are planning for it, they'll they'll set it up so that uh, you know kids can just hang out and play video games in there. And in the winter and stuff, that's great if you're going out for pizza and all that you don't want your kids to be distracted and of course the kids love that side room and uh the adults that are, are really looking for like kind of the brewery experience and all that they're in the the original space with a bar and you know tables and tvs and all that kind of stuff too but it, it, that can be a little bit more free you know you just kind of know going in if you got younger kids that are going to be jumping up from the table and running around and all that they can have at it in this side room. Well, we love it for hockey. It, like last night, there was uh, NFL football and hockey on and all that. So it's great for us. And if you know going in, hey, you know, this, you might have a bunch of noisy kids around. Fine. That was perfect for us. We weren't, you know, nobody was that riveted. And uh, we were we were playing a little travel uh portable version of the the dice game farkle at our table you know just light-hearted fun but really cool uh to see businesses that are thriving and had the entire time of the pandemic you know that the local news is all about all these business owners that are just trying to get on there go, oh we, you know who's gonna help us now what's and this guy the whole time even you know in the winter put up plastic wrap and uh uh, heater vents and stuff uh, this last winter when it was still in the height of the pandemic and people were you know able to sit outside in relative comfort and go anyway you know he was the the only option around so he did pretty darn well for himself i'm sure and uh some of the staff turns over but there's some just fantastic uh wait staff as well that um have now been there for the four or five six years I, I don't know however many years uh they've been in business there and recognize you know who you are oh, and uh want to make sure you have a great time and um all pretty cool so we've done all that <laughs> and that kind of frees up my holiday uh weekend i know some some of the people were doing a like a scavenger hunt Halloween theme deal um, down in the city, which uh, I, a little a little outside my deal. But I used to love that that kind of stuff um, activity wise for adults around the holiday. And I, I think scavenger hunts are some of the most underrated um, activity type stuff that you can find. Um, when uh you know you're you're out there uh i don't like that flow um and these should probably be into the cobble i don't have the cobble yet um do we think I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of gas to activity in here. Famous last words, but maybe I'm maybe I'm challenging them, daring them to show up and drop their tears. Uh, anyway, scavenger hunts are awesome. Um, if they're real. I, I don't know if anybody remembers. I don't know. I think it was the 80s, and it's probably been redone a bunch of times and just outside my window, but there was a 
there was a movie about sca- a, a big scavenger hunt. Like, um, uh, it reminds me nowadays of what's already an older movie too, uh, Rat Race, where you know all these people competing were, were kind of forming up random teams and, and finding themselves in impossible situations as they were what racing across the country or something like that. Um, well, this was the same kind of deal, you know, comedians, um, very lighthearted movie, but the idea was that, you know, big prize, but you had to do this scavenger hunt. And in that scavenger hunt, the items were, you know, over the top, difficult to obtain, one of a kinds and, uh, or, uh, just obscure (laughs) or expensive or, you know, or otherwise, difficult to obtain and and the lengths that all these people comically went to to, to get them and, and rack up these uh pills. I wish I knew more about what that now hadn't hadn't even thought of it. Um but I, that kind of inspired uh myself and some of my friends at, when we were you know kind of that late high school maybe I don't know that we ever well actually we, yes we did do a scavenger hunt in college that I remember. But those, you know, those kind of years when um, you can get the help you're going to need just by, you know, being able to go and knock on doors and say, hey, uh, you know, that's the whole point, right? We're we're in a scavenger hunt. We're looking for bleh. And, uh, you know, strike up conversations with random strangers and all that. And, you know, as long as you approach it with, like anything, with the right attitude, uh, it can be an absolute blast. So I know some folks were doing that kind of stuff uh, this weekend, and there was lots of plans on pumpkin patches and all that. I'm kind of kind of through um, at this point, but I am very much back into, uh, into the wrapping up the scary movies and all that. Um, I had kind of gotten away from that a little bit. Um, but last night I watched, uh, I, I didn't really watch, I fell asleep with On, um, I, I don't know, I, just some cheesy, cheesy uh, horror movies on Prime. And I honestly, I don't, um, is it The Brain or something like that? I don't know, it was pretty terrible, but it was comically terrible, right? Um. I think it was I think it was the brain and it was you know this like psychiatric hospital or or something like this the whole premise was just one of those like who came up with this <laughs> what were you thinking this makes no sense um but it was uh 90s 80s 90s something and like small town um like the equivalent of, like, a televangelist, but he was supposedly, like, giving people psychiatric or at least motivational advice on TV. And, and like, you know, he's going to keep expanding this TV program across the country and the world to uh, uh, entice new viewers, you know, like, like any of that. But I guess he, you know... Spoiler alert, secretly um, harvesting this giant brain thing in it behind, like immediately behind the set in what was supposed to be an evil lair. Um, it was great, uh, greatly bad. <laughs> and uh, so that was that was kind of fun, kicked me back into it um, last night. And then I watched. Uh, Uh, I, I don't know their names. It was like a, a in the movie they were a, a couple in a, not married but boyfriend girlfriend type adult couple uh, in the apocalypse, right? And they in the movie they're stand up comedians, and uh, you know they're just laughing at this idea of like you know Californians totally unprepared for surviving a an apocalypse and how would that actually play out and look like and you know some of the tropes and all that getting getting their nods but we don't want to throw away the gold 
uh, laughs along the way. So that was that was a good one. Not not too Halloween spirited, um, but uh, kind of kicked things off. And I I already have got the the next one dialed in. Uh, which speaking of which, I should check the time here. We're at forty five, so we still got some time. Uh, when we wrap this up, and, and this is going to probably be my only episode, it's a Friday. I think I talked about that early on. Um, uh, we'll see what what tomorrow brings in terms of multiples or singles. Um, but at least for for today, we're going to do one and one and done. And the next movie I'm going to watch this evening. I spotted it already. I've never seen it. Uh, always intrigued me. Um, Prime uh, showed in, I, I think I went to their like Halloween tab, uh, but it was Secret Window, which is a Stephen King short uh, story. And for any of you guys that have read the uh, read the channel, <laughs> so enjoyed some of these habits, uh, uh, worlds as we've gone, know that, um, I'm a big Stephen King fan, and, um, I, as I understand it, just from watching the preview before I, I got going here today, or the preview, you know, whatever the little Amazon teaser is to, to launch the movie, um, this was a short story of his called uh, Secret Window, Secret Garden. And I, I know he's had a lot of anthologies. I don't know. I haven't gone back to look or anything to know which one it's in. Um, but this is like a 2004, if I'm right. Uh, just remembering the, the info box, whatever I'd seen. I think it was like those early 2000s uh, with Johnny Depp, who I, I know he's had some personal troubles in his life, and um, there's some drama around him, but uh, tough to deny his his acting chops, at least in, in some things. You know, I know at times it, uh, it becomes a bit uh, formulaic, and particularly following his depiction of the Hunter S. Thompson character in Fear and Loathing, uh, you know, he kind of does the, um, lilting sort of not, not in his head, a little bit crazy, a little bit, uh, drug induced style, uh, a lot, you know, and that certainly got translated into the, uh, Jack Sparrow, Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, you know, it's, yeah, he's not, not always talking drugs or anything like that, but that, that kind of wild, uh, not too serious character has, uh, served him well, certainly, but he's had, had a lot of great roles, um, over the years, and, um, so I look forward to, I don't know, honestly, how I missed it, um, all these years, uh, because the, the combo, it was immediately appealing to me, so I'm looking forward to it, and, uh, we'll be watching that, I, I would imagine I may see something else as well, um, here, while I've got a moment, let's kind of do this to wrap up, obviously we're not not getting too far on our everything but quartz, right? We may get a bit jammed up here. And then let's just pick up all this other stuff. Uh, I was gonna say so. I yeah. Beyond that, I don't know. Uh, you know that'll that'll kind of be the evening, uh, maybe after dinner viewing, and then I probably will have one more that I'll just kind of take something at random from uh, 
Netflix or Amazon or one of those. Um, so we'll see. But uh, I think in and amongst then, it's uh, going to be kind of fun. I, I think our weekend is supposed to stay just spectacular for Halloween. And I talked about at one point, uh, you know, my own childhood in the Midwest, and certainly in Colorado here it can happen, where you have the cold Halloween, right? Everything is... You're bundled up underneath uh, underneath a bunch of layers in your costume, and nothing fits right, fits as right as you'd hoped, or anything. And it, you know, it becomes kind of this ordeal. I don't think any of the little kiddos or anybody heading out to haunted mazes or corn ma- haunted houses or corn mazes or anything else are going to have any concerns. It should be just great. So yeah, I hope uh, hope all of you get to have some fun, some scares of the on your terms variety that uh, you know make it make it feel good to be alive, right? <laughs> get your heart pumping a little bit. Woo! All right. Um, and uh, for those of you who are are seeking it out. Loads of tasty candy. All the all the favorites. I uh, I haven't touched it, but I've got a small emergency bag of candy here. Um, as I've said, I have yet to have had a single trick or treater in the whole time I've been here, but. Uh, Hey, yeah, you keep a little bit um, on hand just in case some kids show up because you don't want them to get turned away disappointed. And then we uh, have it to... Usually what I do is take it to a tailgate. We'll see, uh, see how things go after tomorrow's Colorado football. Man, they are... They are in some tough, tough times right now. And i do this just to finish up a little practice, right? We're getting there. But we may have long bridges in the next episode. Who knows as we uh, expand this continued tunnel. And this is good practice for the roof line, although now we're just going to be in stair placing, so maybe not so needed. We're going to try really hard not to forget our uh, chests over there, and we'll probably just do a... I'll do a last time check to make sure I'm not selling a short, but uh, we'll probably just go load up what we've ended up with here and call it good. Make sure we have those on hand for the next one. Not too much there. Again, we want to make real sure we don't ever put our chests where we can accidentally throw them away. Get that bit of gold. Big snack here. Alright, time check. 5428 I think that's good enough we won't uh won't find out how big this next landmass is until the next episode so we'll park it up nice and close thanks so much for hanging out uh we made more good progress and as long as I can remember whenever we do get back that we are are set to transition to um single single steps kind of going up in a a direct diagonal uh, for that more shallow grade of our uh, barn roof. We should be good to go. So we'll look forward to uh, more progress on that, but fill in our pockets with quartz first in uh, the next episodes. And until then, stay safe out there. If you guys are out, we'll open it up this, after, this afternoon, evening, um, whenever it comes about. Be safe. Uh, if you're of a young age and trick-or-treating, um, you know, have fun. Go crazy out there, but uh, 
look out for your friends and one another and remember um especially with masks and costumes and stuff it can be tough to see and uh every year you know there there's somebody that feels awful because uh, a kid goes running out into a road i mean most parents are going to be driving pretty slow uh, around it through neighborhoods so it's not a big deal it's the older kids of you you know that are maybe having a sleepover gonna sneak out a little bit later or stay out a little bit later and, and you know maybe some soap on some windows or some uh, raw eggs flying through the air that kind of stuff if you're doing any of that and it's late at night just remember uh people people may not be prepared and watching for you when they're driving so so be safe and look out for one another and for all you adults out there please 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 be responsible if you're going to a party and hanging out uh uber home uh have a sober driver whatever you're gonna do do not uh do not uh try to go out and and you know drink or whatever whoop it up and then try to drive yourself around bad idea with those same kids running around anyway that's the public service message for uh for today for me i'm gonna hang out here and uh and enjoy those spooky scary movies so you guys all take care as well we'll see you for the next one and thank you so much stay awesome bye now